going on, my kings and queens? So count it all joy when you face fiery trials, fiery trials, not just regular trials, but trials that burn. Count it all joy when you face fiery trials of all kinds of how many kinds of all kinds because this is the testing this is the building of your faith which is more precious than gold itself as being refined in a fire see god is the head of all circumstances and situations that you could ever face in your life he knows exactly what he has scripted what he has intended what he has prepared in your life for you but he didn't tell you the things that you would face, the things that will oppose you as you are going into the place that he's calling you to. So I'm telling you from personal experience, as one who has had his business literally stolen tens of thousands of dollars from my business, I've been scammed. I've been uh, uh, completely uh, put in jeopardy of my entire household. We're currently going through a rent crisis as we speak because of the attack against my business. But how is it that I can still show up? How is it that I can still have joy, that I can still have peace, that I can still laugh, that I can still love my God and love my wife and my children and understand that I am an overcomer, that I am more than a conqueror, that there is no weapon that is formed against me that can ever prosper. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how. Because I have my faith in the untouchable, unbreakable, immovable, unshakable God. He has never failed and he never will. And so I want to encourage you by what I'm currently undergoing, that no matter what your faith facing in your life, no matter what circumstances and situations that you're finding yourself into, God is still the same God that opened up the Red Sea. God is still the same God that brought water out of a rock. God is still the same God that rained down bread out of heaven. They had no stores. They had no food. He provided food for 40 years for millions of people in a dry place. The same God that was with the Hebrew boys in the fire. The same God that was with them as they walked through the midst of the water and it was not overturned. I'm telling you right now that that God is for you. And that God happens to be the head of all things. And he says that I am for you and I am not against you. And being that he is for you and not against you, that means that his thoughts for you are good and not evil thoughts to prosper you and to give you a successful end. I want to encourage you to continue to stand, continue to show up, continue to press, continue to, to, to overcome the circumstance, choose to overcome the circumstances and the oppositions that the devil is throwing at you. These things are temporary. And God even says that I suffer you to hunger. I suffer you to go through things to see rather you would stand on my word or not. Understand that the same trials that are facing you are facing all your brothers and sisters across the world. And it's all for purpose. It's not for nothing that you're facing the things that you're facing. And if God has given the very life of his own son to save you from your sin, what is any situation that you're facing right now that he won't save you from? You are highly valuable. I want to encourage you to keep your faith in God. Keep showing up. Keep pressing into prayer. Keep pressing into God. God will never fail you. He surely will deliver you. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord shall deliver them out of them all. I'm telling you right now, you are more than a conqueror. I'm telling you right now, your situation has already been resolved. Trust your father. Put your hope in him. You'll see his salvation. I love you.